guys, I'm in Macau, yay! Yay and not yay because, well, I'm a bit sick, as you can probably tell. I actually have no idea what I'm going to do today because I have been ill for quite a few days now and I've just not prepared anything, so we're just walking around aimlessly. But let's see if we can find anything of interest. I might just go back to the hotel if not. I've just come across this park which is open 24 hours a day. It's very relaxing and helps reduce noise and environmental pollution in the area. What I love here the most are these incredible trees. Check them out. The leaves on the trees reach up to the sky as their roots reach down through the deep dark earth. I haven't really eaten anything today. I just had this um, yogurt, so I'm going to go in the supermarket and get a few things because I'm not really feeling well enough to actually go for a proper meal. Let's see what I can get. From my hotel window I can see the sea. It's not the best day in terms of weather but I think I'm going to go down there and see if I can find out how to cross the road to get over to that area. Okay so I can see there's a bridge. Wondering, opposite is a city in mainland China called Zhuhai. Hella worse. <clears throat> but you know what? I am determined to go see something today. Hopefully the Mandarin house. Um, but before I do that, I need to go get some lunch. <laughs> it's actually already lunch time. And um, I need to go get some tissues because I've been having a bit of a runny nose. I feel like I'm coming down with the flu. I mean, I hope not because I want to have fun. I don't know, man. Like, everyone around has got a jacket on. Having eaten, we're now off to the Mandarin's house. On entry, the first thing you see on the right is a simple wall-mounted altar, the Shrine of the Earth God. Two plaster couplets in the shape of bamboo hang from each side of the altar. During the restoration process, it was found that the altar had 18 paint layers of different colour, meaning that it's been through at least 17 previous refurbishments. Built before 1869, this was the traditional Chinese residential compound home of the well-known Chinese literary figure Zheng Guanyin. Covering 4,000 square meters, it is the largest family residential complex still standing in Macau.
This traditional Chinese compound was constructed by Mr. Zheng's father, Zheng Wenrei. It consists of several courtyard houses displaying a combination of both east and west architectural design, such as the use of grey bricks against arched ornamentations and Chinese timber lattice windows against mother-of-pearl window panels of Indian origin. Now let's take a look inside the house. It was here that Zheng Guanyin completed his influential book, Words of Warning in Times of Prosperity. During that time, the house looked directly out on the inner harbour, overseeing hundreds of boats and trading ships coming into Macau. During the 1950s and 1960s, many of the Zheng family members went overseas, and the Mandarin's house was then left behind for rental to individual tenants. At one point, there were as many as 300 residents. Due to issues arising from overcrowding and mistreatment of the historical property, the government took over the Mandarin's house and in 2002 began major renovations to restore its original look. Feeling exhausted, I head back to the hotel. Oh man, I felt so bad. <coughs> I felt so bad today. I think I'm gonna have to go out and get some face masks and to see if I can get some medication. I really don't think I can go see anything today. Feeling a bit better, I decide to visit the Parisian, which to my joy had many seasonal decorations. They even had an upside down Christmas tree. It's my last day in Macau. I'm still not feeling too good, but I want to explore as much as I can. On my way to Senado Square, I spotted this gorgeous mint green church. I absolutely adore this colour, so I just had to take a closer look. Look at these cute rabbit and bee lanterns. There's also a big mummy rabbit too. I've never seen such vibrant pink leaves like these before. Does anyone know what they are?
Now let's take a trip down Love Lane. Located just off the ruins of St Paul's, this romantic little lane, no more than 50 metres long, is decorated with pink and yellow European-style buildings. Now let's take a look at Short Street. Yeah, that's all there is to see. I decide to treat myself to a bath bomb. Take a guess at which one I'm gonna get. Sonado Square boasts some of the most special and colourful Christmas decorations in the city. My favourite part of this year's display has to be these cute fairies. Outside the doors of many Chinese houses are altars for the god of wealth, Tai Shen, and the earth god, Tu Di Shen. It's time to head back to the hotel and try out that bath bomb. But first, let's try out a picture in the dark. If you're wondering, I bought the mint green avo bath bomb and it's made of avocado, lemongrass and bergamot. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to continue following me on my next adventure. Bye!